Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. This is our video presentation for Bio 661 Animal Behavior during our visit in Lokawi Wildlife Park. The animal that we choose is proboscis monkey. In this video, you will be guided by me, Nor Habiwa, and my group member, Nancy, Rina, and Stephen. Lokawi Wildlife Park assists the Sabah Wildlife Department in managing wildlife in captivity surrendered by the public, rescue operations and confiscated from enforcement operations, and also supports wildlife crime enforcement efforts, managing human wildlife conflict and wildlife rescue operations. Proboscis monkey, also called long nosed monkeys, are endemic to waterways of Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Proboscis monkey inhabit mangrove forests along rivers and entuaries, swampland, and lowland friend forests. The proboscis monkey is an endangered species threatened by habitat loss and hunting for food and for body parts for use in traditional medicines. Animal behavior is the study of how animals move in their environment, how they interact socially, how they learn about their environment, and how an animal might achieve a cognitive understanding of its environment. Animal behavior plays a critical role in conserving efforts. Efforts to captively breed endangered species hinge on understanding the species' habitat requirements, mating behavior, and parent of spring interactions. There are many types of animal behavior such as learning behavior, aggression, feeding, and parental care. In this video, we will only discuss the behavior that can be seen in proboscis monkey during our visit in Lokawi Wildlife Park. The first behavior that can be seen is grooming behavior. Grooming refers to behaviors involved in cleaning and maintaining body function and hygiene. Grooming can be divided into two types, which is individual grooming or auto-grooming and grooming involving other individuals or olo grooming. From the video, proboscis monkey at Lokawi can be seen doing olo grooming activity. This is because females were placed in the same cage which allowed them to groom each other. By grooming activity, the proboscis monkey gain a lot of benefits which are cleaning hair of dirt, strengthening between individuals, and reducing anxiety and stress after a fight between individuals. Next, I'm Rina. I'm going to present the resting behavior and reproductive behavior of proboscis monkey. Resting behavior is action that include eating, drinking, taking care of one's body, moving around, which may involve engaging in exploratory behavior, and of course sleeping. Sleep was not previously thought of as a behavior. It is typically regarded as a period of immobility which appear unresponsive to their surroundings. In the video showing positive approach of individuals sit close together, carry out activities near other individuals or make body contact without aggression. The male sitting with one's legs straightened and the female sitting face down on the wood. According to Cook, resting behavior is the mix of laying time, the quantity of lying bouts, and the laying of each lying bout. Negative consequences might result from preventing animals from getting enough rates. Animals should ideally get enough rest for about 12 hours a day. The place to conserve the animal design must consider to the demands of the animal and meet its size and habitat in order to provide the greatest possible rates. It not only offers the animal a cozy environment, but it also gives them the traction they need to get up and down. Reproductive behavior, which comprises all the phases from the development of mating systems, wooing, sexual behavior, punctuation, and child care, is the behavior associated to the generation of offspring. In this video, it is showing proceptivity, whereby behaviors that aim to form and maintain closeness with a partner, such as approaching and body contact. Proboscis monkeys 
engage in classic collarbone patterns of sexual behavior with females presenting their hind quarters and bobbing their heads to entice males to copulate. Males seem to have a single mount ejaculatory system. It was noted that females competed with one another for a mate and harassed copulating parents. After 166 days of pregnancy, a single baby is born to prosposis monkey. Most births take place at night. Throughout the birth, the mother is seated on a tree limb. Mothers eat the placenta after giving birth to their children. Hello everyone, my name is Nancy and in this video, I'll be discussing about the learning behavior and playing behavior in proboscis monkey. First is learning behavior. Proboscis monkey are highly social animals and live in a troop that consists of dominant males, several females and their offspring. Within these troops, there are opportunities for social learning where individuals can observe and learn from one another's behavior. For example, here young proboscis monkey learn how to climb by observing its mother. This shows the observational learning in proboscis monkey. It is the tendency to perform a response as a result of having observed another animal's performance. Besides, the young proboscis monkey also might develop latent learning. It is a type of learning that doesn't require the participant, which is the young proboscis monkey, to participate actively in the lesson, and they might use it later in another stage of life. For example, the parents of the young proboscis monkey teach it how to climb, and then in the future, when it has its own skits, it might do the same to its kids. Next is playing behavior. Playing behavior in proboscis monkey brings many benefits. One of it, social bonding. Play behavior also facilitates social bonding among proboscis monkey. It allows youngs to interact in a non-threatening and cooperative manner strengthening social relationship within the group. Playful interaction helps develop trust, communication skills, and sense of belonging among group members. Secondly, playing behavior also acts as communicating medium. Besides, playing also shows form of communication, specifically meta-communication. For example, the parent use specific facial expression and postures to indicate their communicative intent, such as playing in this case. Next, it also helps in conflict resolution or problem-solving skills. Their behavior can help proboscis monkey to develop conflict resolution skills also. By engaging in play fighting or mock displays of aggression, individuals can practice and refine strategies for resolving conflicts without causing harm. Playful interaction allows them to establish social boundaries and learn how to negotiate and cooperate within the group. Next is parental care. Before we proceed, let's watch a video about proboscis monkey and its offspring at Lokawi Wildlife Park. Here are some of the aspects that you need to know about proboscis monkey's parental care. The first one is maternal care. Female proboscis monkey play the primary role in caring for their offspring. After birth, the mother carries her newborn on her belly, providing constant physical contact and protection. This close contact helps the infant be secure and allows the mother to monitor and care for their baby's needs. Next is mother-infant bond. The bond between a mother proboscis monkey and her baby is strong. The mother carries her infant on her belly for the first few weeks of its life, providing constant physical contact and protection. As the baby grows older, it gradually starts riding on the mother's back. Next is nursing and weaning. Like other primates, proboscis monkey infants nurse from their mothers for an extended period. The mother's milk it provides essential nutrients and helps the baby grow and develop. Nursing also strengthens the bond between the mother and her offspring. Over time, 
The mother introduced the baby to solid food, such as leaves, fruits, and seeds, gradually weaning it off milk. For protection and defense, the mother takes off the responsibility of protecting her young from potential threats and predators. She keeps a watchful eye on her infant, and if any danger is perceived, she will respond by vocalizing or moving away to ensure the safety of their offspring. Lastly, is on paternal involvement. This is where male proboscis monkeys are not directly involved in the day-to-day -day care of their offspring. However, they do play a role in the social structure of the group and sometimes they may be pro protective of their young, especially if they encounter threats or predators. Overall, female proboscis monkeys taking the primary responsibility to nurture their offspring. In conclusion, the various aspects of behavior mentioned demonstrate the complexity and adaptability of proboscis monkeys as a species. Their ability to learn, engage in grooming and play, exhibit parental care and manage aggression within social contexts contributes to their overall well-being and survival as a primate species. Understanding and preserving these behavioral traits are vital for their conservation and long-term viability in their natural habitats. That's all from our group. Thank you.